So, hello everybody. So, a little tutorial on how to use the MyFlight app. First, if you have Android, uh, you have to pair your receiver with your Bluetooth. So, you go to general settings, you go to Bluetooth, open your Bluetooth settings, and if the list is on in the unpaired devices, just pair your micro F with the uh, telephone. If once it's paired, it will appear on the top of the list. On the iPhone, you don't need to pair anything. Just when you open the app, he will ask you to uh, show you which uh, to to connect to which receiver you have to connect. Okay. Obviously, you have to make sure that your Bluetooth is on. So let's go to My Flight. You open the My Flight app. About the settings, go on the top left corner to go to the settings. In the meanwhile, on the main page, you can see if there is an update available and uh, you to access on this update, you go to just on the top left, you go to the menu, you go to settings. First line of settings, you have download update. That's to download the update. Uh, on iPhone, it's made automatically. RTS ID and channel number has to stay on zero. Micro trainer does not have to, tick, to be ticked. You, Imperial units, you just uh, tick it if you want to have it in your Imperial units. Auto direct, you don't need to tick it. You please tick the box. Beep audio, text to speech, text to speech language, the interval, and the minimum pitch text to speech. So the text to speech is a feature that will show you uh, or will shout you the hate when you are using the app. Uh, on the last line on user, you put your ULOC logging. So let's go back to the main page. If you want to start real-time GPS, you'd either press this logo with the bird, which is on the top of the page, and this will open real-time GPS. Okay, it will start to connect. You will also 87. hear the text speech that gives you the hate. 87. To put the hate on zero, uh, I will first turn off the volume. On the lower right corner, press 87. the speaker and 87. the lower to put the pitch on zero, just hold, press, and hold, press and hold the pitch. I will turn off completely the volume by pressing on the lower part this speaker corner. So you see the position of the falconer in blue, the bird in uh, with a green dot. If you want to record the flight, on the lower part of the screen you've got a record button which is of white color. Just press it and you'll see the chronometer which will start to uh, run. Okay, if you uh, want to go to other positions of the bird or to see uh, how to navigate to the positions, if you want to navigate to the position sent by the radio, just open on the top right corner the three dots and there uh, you will see go to bird radio or go to bird GSM. There are other instructions or other options, which is battery safe, sleep mode, track mode. This is for the track model. If you would like to navigate to the position received by radio, you would have just to press go to bird radio and it would open your navigator. So go back. let's go back to the main menu. If you wouldn't want to change the zoom, on the top corner, top right corners, you've got different symbols next to the Bluetooth symbol, which has to be blue, obviously, if the connection is right. And you press on the little bird and you can change the zoom. And this is uh, the one with the little book. So you can change the zoom manually and uh, adapt it on the screen. That's the one I prefer to use. Uh, you've got height information, top speed information, where you have top speed on the lower right corner. If you press it and hold it a second, you will see the service angle. That This will give you in degrees at how many degrees a bird is compared to the falcon. That's pretty useful for people doing training for sky trials. If you press it again, it would give you the service point angle uh, at the moment that the bird starts the stoop. So now the, st the, the, the position is recorded. Uh, we will leave it on. Normally you would see a green track if the bird was moving. If you want to see the position of the bird sent by the phone, this is for the track models. On the lower left corner under the white arrow, you see there is a little number. Select your ID number like it's appearing there and then you press the orange button which is at the same time an arrow. If you press it, you will see a position with an orange dot. This position with an orange dot is the one 
uh, sent by the telephone network. You see that you still have the one with the green dot, which now is disconnected because I selected the channel of that specific transmitter. If I want to go back to my main menu, I press my list here and I select the transmitter zero. He will then connect again uh, with our transmitter. So that's for the, the basics. If you want to store the, tr the flight, you press again the record button. It will give you a position or a possibility to save your session. I will call this one test, save it. And if you want to go to the saved positions or to the, the recorded flights, you go back to the main menu on the top, top left, go to recorded flights. And I will show you, for example, uh, a flight of a bird that was recorded. So you select the flight, you've got there the flight graphs with the different height measures, which is the barometric uh, height measure, that's the blue one. The yellow is the GPS height measure, which is sometimes different because the GPS is not as accurate as a, as a barometric height measure. If you want to simulate the, play, the, the, the flight, you press the S on the replay, S for replay, and you press play and it will start to play. I will just turn off the beep and we'll go a bit faster so you can see how it happens when uh, you have a replay of flight. Uh, this was a bird some days ago doing a terminal. So now the flight starts and you can see that the bird starts moving. You want to attack some pigeons there. 26. To the village. And you can see 32. The text to speech, 49. Uh, telling you the height, which 42. is pretty practical. It's 43. A nice practical feature. 38. I will turn now, turn 50. off the text to speech. And there you see the development of the complete flight with the bird doing, in this case, a thermal and then coming back to the falconer before being rewarded. And that's it more or less. If you go backwards, you go back to the main menu. And uh, here it is about the basics about our MyFlight app. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.